Meteorologist Daniel Grant with your Denver Gazette forecast. The heat is on. The haze returns. Some of that smoke, too. We are looking at a dry day with mostly sunny skies, but that high of 94, slightly above average, gets even warmer in northern Colorado. 98 in Platteville and Longmont this afternoon. Mid-90s in Boulder. And then you travel up into the high country. You'll find some cooler temps in the 60s and 70s and also a better shot for a few more storms. Once again, the air quality alerts are in place. It has just felt like day after day after day we have been dealing with with this in and around Route County for high levels of wildfire smoke for much of the I-25 corridor from Fort Collins south through Colorado Springs, looking at high levels of ozone. So, uh, you know, if you can do something like maybe fill up the tank after five, that certainly would help folks out and hopefully help to keep our skies a little bl more blue. As we look at this storm sitting off to our south and to the west, it continues to shift further toward California. High pressure digging closer into Colorado, so that brings us a drier day here in Denver. Still up in the mountains, we'll be monitoring the possibility of a few thunderstorms. Again, those primarily will be rocking and rolling later this afternoon, about 4 or 5 o'clock, just to the south of I-70, Aspen toward Telluride and the San Juans, and even southeastern Colorado. Colorado will be monitoring just for a couple of thunderstorms by about 11 o'clock or so tonight. Most of that moisture moves out. We stay dry on Tuesday. Isolated storms possible for you on Wednesday, flirting with close to triple digit heat here in Denver, and then we slowly cool off and we really will bring back a better chance for seeing storms and just some really good rain uh, as we look ahead toward next weekend. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.